afternoon. I'm Brian Yule, the Master Superintendent of Uplands Golf Club. This afternoon, I'd like to bring you an update on two changes that we've got happening on the golf course next week. One of them is starting to repair some of our old architecture work that we did in the 1980s. And over time, our features such as bunkers and some mounting have started to lose their character and also start to build up sand levels on the front of the bunkers. The second project that we're going to be doing in our program is building a set of forward tees that I'll talk about a little bit later. We're here on our fourth hole and with this bunker here, we have approximately 30, 35 years of sand buildup on this lip here. Now on our last bunker that we did on our 17th hole, we had approximately 42 inches of sand buildup and with this bunker, we're probably at least 40 inches of sound build up in over 30 years of playing. They say with bunker shots, each shot that you take would be like a cup of sand exiting the bunker. With 60,000 rounds a year, over all those years, you can understand how this gets built up. But people like myself being a good player, it's not too bad to get this shot out here. But it's a challenge for some of the average golfers that maybe not have the bunker expertise as I do. <laughs> so I ended up chipping it into the hole there. I know it looked like I threw it out there. <laughs> One of the challenges as well is the back edge of the bunkers, they start to build up with sand and we start to get this mounding. So the bunkers lose their characteristics after 30 years. So our golf course architect, Jeff Mingay, is planning to remove this bunker and create a grass mounding indicative of golf courses built in that area that will be mowed at fairway height. So now we can chip and bump and run. On the right hand side of our fourth hole, we're gonna build a larger bunker over there, capture any balls that are gonna fade from a slice to the right-hand side. And as well, we're gonna lower some of the mounting on the right-hand side. That mounting was done in the 1980s and that was the characteristics of architecture back then. Artificial pushed up steep, severe mounds. We're gonna bring our mounting back to more of a natural characteristics of a golf course in 1922. Another part of this project is removal of the ponderosa pine behind me. Our ponderosa pines were donated to us back in the 1950s from a member. These are non-indigenous trees though, and as you can see with this ponderosa, that they start to get a little bit messy on the top and they can be hazardous. And they're prone to splitting and producing branches that will drop off. So we've purchased 10 Gary Oak trees and part of our long range program is to plant indigenous species. So hundreds of years from now that we'll have Gary Oaks throughout the entire property. It's been five days and 7,000 square feet of sod and we've seen some dramatic changes with the fourth hole. I'm standing on what used to be the pot bunker that we had here. Now we have a very interesting mound. Over the next couple months we'll mow this whole area out at fairway height. So if a golfer lands on this side they have to have the option to chip over this mound or they can over this mound to the green. And Jeff Minge, our golf course architect, has scalloped out this mound so if a tee shot comes, it can swing onto the green and definitely a chance for a hole in one. And really providing a lot of character of what this golf course would have played like back in 1922 and bringing back some of the original tradition that we have here. We've now softened the mounds on the right hand side. We've gotten rid of that 1980s steep rolling mounds and more of a traditional natural lay of the land. The bunker style has changed as well. We have a flat bottom bunker that is similar to the way that the golf course was built back in 1922 and this will be a much fairer shot for the golfer. On the left hand side of the bunker we have now the sod turned down which is traditional of this type of architecture. So visually this will be appealing for the golfers as they approach this hole 
and also be easier for us to maintain the mounds and surrounds.